Jeff Bodine is on a tear right now. Oh. I, I figured he would be. <laughs> Drivers, to cars. your cars. Yeah. Like, every time he's, like, 18th in points and ready to die, he goes on a massive winning streak. We are live at Talladega. It's going to be an epic race with lots of epicness. Here is the starting lineup, brought to you by Budweiser, the king of all beers. First, the Budweiser machine, pole sitter Ben Gear. It's been a long time since he's won a pole. Second, Boston Red Sox machine, Tony Pizarro. Star in the latest Goodyear commercial. Third, Ampio. Bristol winner, Jimmy Stevens. Fourth, Boeing, Jonathan Scrabix. Fifth, NOS Energy Drink, Craig Lee. Sixth, Johnny Reed Foley comes into the event fifth in the point standings. Seventh, John Batista. Eighth, Mark Murphy. Ninth, Scott Jackson. And tenth, having a lot of good finishes lately, Donald Stewart. Eleventh, Viper, Matthew Dominique. 12th, Bush's Best Baked Beans Butterworth. 13th, the Lucas Racing Pennzoil number 04, Alex Crapser. 14th, The Man, Points Leader, won two out of the last three races. NOS Energy Drink number 138, Ryan Heuser. 15th, Zach Miller, Oreo. 16th, Christian Torres, GameStop 26. 17th, Decline to be in the Goodyear video, Champion Tim McDonnell. 18th, Marlboro Cigarette, Virginia Blend, Dave Miller. 19th, Alan Nesfetter. 20th, Randy Dobbin. 21st, the favorite to win today, Rick Jackson. 22nd, Bill Workheiser. 24th, lost the points lead a couple weeks ago, Bob Marley number 8, Mr. Ken Pettit. 25th, lots of controversy on the Xbox team. They are not doing a good job since Daytona of last year and their funds are not doing well but they continue to make every race Xbox willing to stay Dr. Pepper not very happy 27th horrible season so far Matt Raboyne 28th Mr. Dale Oldman Rosendahl makes the show in the FedEx number 11. 29th, William Tex Perry. Hey, Flex Seal. 30th, just from his ARCA race, the Diet Dr. Kelp machine of Philip Parker. Adam Crapser, currently in the top 10 in points. Broderick Whitman makes the show. Mark Guthrie. Finally back into the top 35. Steven Spears makes the show. In the number 65 Flex Seal machine for NSRA Racing. We hear many fans screaming Flex Seal. Notice that they're not screaming Steven Spears because they hate him. But they love Flex Seal. Dan Johnston, Allstate. Dalton Lucas, Little Caesars, number 88. 
Aaron Cummings, almost one Bristol. Mike Carroll in the Spam Machine. Competed in the Arca Race at Talladega with Philip Parker and did very well. Zach Michael starting way in the back. Michael Henson in the Chick-fil-A 144. Jack Painter, 33. Tony Long, A&W number 15. Glenn Kaufman makes the show. And John Tharp qualifying towards the back, as he has done all season. Not a good thing. Ever since this team went to a two-car team, they have been struggling. Except for the Daytona 500. Last year's restrictor plate champion of the series. Yes, he's very good at the plate trims, like today. Brad Capers, what is your pick tonight? Uh, uh, I gotta go with 55. <laughs> gotta go with some, uh, relief. There in his intestinal system first. I'm go with the 55 of Donald Stewart. Sorry, I had to get rid of something. <laughs> Spock, you, you pick. Well, in, in place of Mr. Spock, I'm going to go with whoever he doesn't pick. That is a very good pick. And Steven Spock picks the... Nobody. Zach Miller machine. <laughs> good, okay. No, you should pick whoever's directly in front of me in points. Having your name involved in that will hurt you. So did Rob not, not make the show? Rob. Oh, did Spears did, make it? Rob did not make Spears the show. Spears is in. Oh, Lord. Green is out. All right, go into green. Green flag, green flag is out. side and he will lead the show on the back stretch as we fan out three and four wide behind what I say about four wide no time like the present absolutely especially at oh oh no Old pitch oh strategy. no! Problem. Commonly found in the 20 car has struck the 47. Trouble in the Red Bull machine. Flat tire. He's screaming. Flat tire. Surprised I didn't pit for low fuel already. Murphy using that cool dark black visor to see through, and he knows he has a flat right front. Will he stay on the lead lap? Yes. That's a long pit stop for two tires. He's been up on the right side for a while. They might be going underneath looking at the transmission or something. Oh, he's out. Oh, boy. Glory. <laughs> <laughs> New leader. Normally a two-tire stop wouldn't put you a lap down pitting from the lead group like that, but... That was a very long two-tire stop. They probably had rubber debris in the wheel well or something. Or they had getting off the tire. As there we see Lucas Racing cars hook up on the inside. In 2003, it does take longer to jack up the car if you have a flat. That is true. So but it doesn't stay up longer. 
But Mark was able to save a lot of time by only changing two tires. Think of if he had to change four. Now the question is, how is that going to affect his pit strategy later when all these guys come in and pit? That extra half a gallon of fuel he has <laughs> might not do anything. I would definitely stay out an extra lap. Problem is, he might lose two laps if it stays green because he's lost the draft. Okay, Spears is in the field. He'll be a yellow soon enough. I think his strategy might be to lay back because he's already last. Either that or he's just that slow. Nice battle for the lead. Brad has gone above and is helping Craig. JB and Craig, 1-2, coming to lap 4. Zach Miller ducking to the inside to make it 3 wide for second. Third. Whoa. And Craig leads at the line. Batista had him almost all the way around the track. Only 184 to go. <laughs> that reminds me of the ticker. Yeah, I was going to say, can't we get like some standings or something? <laughs> Thank you. You can just look at the picture. <laughs> You'll yeah, figure I didn't out in the 80s. You'll just... No, what you should do is display the standings like 10 laps after the fact. <laughs> if JB blows up or something, you're still showing him as the leader in 10 laps. <laughs> Advised, his running order is not current. That's JB in the pits. That inside line off turn four is the place to be. Here comes Ken Pettit. Wow! Wild move by Matthew Dominique to the inside. Dale Rosenthal's coming in the top 12 already. I mean, another one of those races where the leader just comes up down the back stretch. Yes. Ah, you can have it. Oh. Four wide. Looks like they survived for now. Be three wide a dead heat at the line. Uh, the top three separate by one one hundredth of a second. Four wide to the lead. And Rick Jackson, the favorite, is already at the front. Oh, door to door contact between the twenty two and the eight. Eventually. You know what I say about dying? No time like the present. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem like this four wide action is hindering anybody from slowing down. They want to put on a good show for the fans. And rock and roll. There they are. Oh, that Randy Diamonds in the 55 of Donald Stewart were going to come together there. Matthew Dominique and Rick Jackson battling for the lead. This is like the smallest turnout we've had on Team Speak for a race all season. I don't know where like him and Spears are screaming about stuff. Tim's probably at work. Spears is probably concentrating on the track. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. New leader, oh Christian God. Torres. Oh, oh boy. Oh. oh! Jesus Christ. New leader, Dale Rosendahl. Dale knows how to get up front at Talladega. New leader, David Butterworth. Oh, no, never mind. Dale cuts Butterworth. He knows leading lap 10 isn't... 
Look at these former teammates working together on the inside. That's Donnie Stewart in the 55 and Zach Miller in the Oreo number 28. Both drove for Johnny Reed Foley. So just looking at the pattern, the way the AI race, they're going to be four wide for second like all day. And somebody in the middle is going to come up and wipe out the whole field. Look at Brandon Rains. We haven't been very nice to him lately, but look at him up front. Yeah, there's no way he's finishing better than 30th in this race. <laughs> Looks like Broderick also had a problem. Hmm. They both have marketing strategy for the driver of the 86. They were working together. Xbox oh, choosing to put just right Xbox now. on the car instead of the Xbox One X Series X 360. Break for Broderick. Broderick looks like he has lost something in the engine. I believe that something is horsepower. Oh no, that's very important. Not sure he's going to make it all the way back around. Probably going to draw a yellow. Looks like he oh. might have to uh, get a tow. I feel like whenever somebody calls for a tow, that you're like instantly throw the yellow. At this point, you have to remember this race last year that David Courtney finished in the top three. He didn't make this race this year, though. Same with Scott Deutsch. Good. Two drivers in the top five last year are not in this race. Johnny Reed Foley, who won, is and is looking to drive through the field. Close quarter racing between Glenn Kaufman and Alex Kruiser. Glenn no, known for his aggressive racing. Yes, like the one time in a modified exhibition race, he pushed up off of the corner and plowed me into the wall on the last lap. Remember guys, we don't know what it's like to drive cars like that. You always have to be aggressive when your equipment is subpar. But he's driving the same equipment as... The driver you picked to win, sir, Mr. Donald Stewart. It's speaking of incredible picking, considering one's a Chevy and the other's a Ford. Speaking of picking to win, look at that 14 car that started all the way back in 41st has now taken the lead. That is amazing. He has a great super speedway program. Needs to work on qualifying. One second, I will have to refill my drink. Get on board with the Zach Michael machine. Yes. <laughs> 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 
like we're moving up towards the top 10. We wouldn't know because we're stuck on 34th through 42nd. Hey, listen. It does not look like Broderick Whitman is coming back on the track. It does look like, however, that Yasiel Puig is going to sign with the Giants. Nice. They deserve him. did the Giants have last year? Not good. I figured. I picked them to win the World Series in 2019, 2018, after they got, like, Andrew McCutcheon, Evan Longoria, and then they realized that they were all old and terrible. I can't honestly say that McCutcheon was ever super good. He I mean, he played on the Pirates. Uh, uh, are you sure? He had one or two good years, but he was never elite, in my opinion. He was good. I got the baseball yeah, reference. Mookie Betts season, or Mike Trout well, season. Okay, Mike Trout and Mookie Betts are two completely different players. Uh, the Giants were 77 and 85, good for third place in the least. That's not terrible. I mean, it's bad, but it's not as bad as you made it seem. Now they don't have Madison Bumgarner. It was time. Or Bruce Bochy. It was time. Uh, here we go. Andrew McCutcheon. Let's settle this debate. Well, he won an MVP award in 2013. And from 13 to 14, he had a 320 batting average with an OPS of 939. Not falling off after that, though. Did he ever play for the Yankees? Yeah, he got traded in 2018. Okay. If someone ever goes to the Yankees, you know they're washed up. Mark Teixeira, Reggie Jackson. <laughs> a Rod. I know what you mean, though. Like, if they're like a. Average I'm seeing like recent. I'm seeing like recent. Randy Johnson that one time. I remember Lance Berkman. Oh God! There. He went to the Rangers and was good again. Yeah, the Yankees lineup in like 2012 was just like stupid. I remember the Richie Section Sexton trade to the Yankees. He was done. Dude, the Yankees and in 2012. The Yankees. the Yankees in 2012 had Russell Martin, Mark Teixeira, Robinson Cano, Derek Jeter, A. Rod, Raul Ibanez. Curtis Granderson, Nick Swisher, Eric Chavez, Andrew Jones, and Ichiro. <laughs> that sounds yes, really each, good. Ichiro is the one I'm thinking of most. He's being washed up by the time he went to the Yankees. I mean, Andrew Jones hit 197 that year. Nobody. Yeah. I mean, everybody on that lineup. The Yankees are a bunch of bums. I mean, they only had two players in that lineup under the age of 30. Tony, how, lar how large is the restrictor plate on these cars? It's pretty big. They're going 202, but they can normally go like 240. Oh, are we racing already? Yeah, we started at 7. Okay, well, let me pull the street then. Tim, the hell is I have not seen your car in the race. I know you're in it, though, because now I'm seeing it. What do you mean, who is Hiroki Kuroda? I never heard of him. Really? Well, okay, so he started playing in 2008, and his last year was 2014, and from like 2008, or like 2009 to 2015, I really didn't follow baseball because he didn't have a cable package with the Indians channel on it, so... Yeah. I kind of had nobody, no idea who any baseball players were until I had the show 16 and kind of learned everybody's name through that. Who's the second car we're about to lap, Tony? Oh, Broderick's back, back on the track. The track. I hope he's not 18 miles an hour slower. Congratulations to Broderick on winning this week's Flex Seal Slow Piece of Shit Award. <laughs> hey, he have mercy on the soul of the field. Why was that camera pointed at the sky? He doesn't look that slow. He looks pretty good, right? You ever go to Taco Bell and you get like burritos and they're like folded kind of weird? Uh, no, I've never gotten burritos. No, we just started.
We were four wide for second for like laps though. I think Roderick's okay. I think he's all right. He's just like nine laps down. What do you mean by four? Well, like it's not a clean fold. They rush. Yeah. Because of the demand. If you get well, one at night, like before they close, it's usually more meat. I mean, I was the only one in line. Oh, they I mean, it tastes the same, it's just kind of a pain to like open it up and dump sauce on it. Do you put sauce on like in your burrito or do you like put it on it after you take a bite out of it? I don't eat the sauce, the burrito's fine. What? I hear sauce is legit. I don't think Broderick is abnormally slow, I think he's just normally slow. Yeah, he's not at song with the rest of the field, but I think he's just back marker slow, not busted piece of shit slow. Yeah, he's like Flex Seal, Steven Spears slow. Way to become the Pinnacle Spears. <laughs> the Pinnacle of Suck! They took a bold strategy this week in running only six cylinders in an attempt at weight reduction. Fuel savings might be worth it, but uh... uh not in a pack race like this. I don't know. Those V6s were pretty fast. I wonder how like how much fuel you would save if you were to like run Pocono on a seven cylinder engine. Uh, you'd probably save a little bit until the motor tore itself apart. Or, or like what if you just put together an engine with seven cylinders? Zach, I feel like you of all people should understand logistically why a V7 doesn't work. Oh no! Oh, there goes the motor! Speaking of engines and cylinders. <laughs> oh! There goes seven of the eight! Oh man, oh, that's no. gonna Get separate the field. Don't pull out in front of me! What are you doing? Alright, get in line, Tony. <laughs> Watch those gauges. Somebody wasn't watching those gauges. Allen's had a really good season so far. This is Tim, you know who? So I guess we're going to see the iRacing Talladega update did not fix the double yellow line issue. No. Well, this draw yellow. Tim, did you hear who uh, didn't check their gauges in the NASCAR at racing race today? <laughs> no, I didn't see any of it. <laughs> uh, Clint Boyer. He got him pushed somebody until he blew up. He was leading, and he decided to get like right underneath the lap car, Alex Bowman. How is this car still moving? How are we not at a yellow? <laughs> we'll probably not have a yellow oh, at Christ, some point the now. Field hasn't come by yet. There, there it is. Go. Oh, and they wad up driving through the oil. Now where's the other half of the field? <laughs> Wait for it. There they, they are. are. I mean, these guys are all like four wide. No, oh, so are these guys. Tony, we need to get more pit crews in the extreme cancel, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna work on that soon. Yeah. I told Tony you should just put Denny Hamlin's pit crew in the uh, Rosendahl stall. Well, that's fair. Where, where are we at next week? Dover. Oh and, and didn't Kevin Harvick Didn't Kevin Harvick drive a bud car? He did. That's where that one came from. Tim, don't say, oh god, you won at Dover last year. None of these cars have picked. I won at Dover and Corey because cannot the see opponent's cycle and the scoring fucking broke. Oh, it's the inside, oh. He's gonna get him. Rick Jackson. He's gonna get the Remember the start finish line! The race is just beginning. Remember, Carol, they're under caution. Remember, the start finish line's not the start finish line. <laughs> There's Brad Kozlowski standing in victory lane. Daryl's like, the race is just now on. Hey, look who made it into that first book. Mike Carroll in the Pontiac. Alright. Is that the, the only one in the field? field? Yeah, I was gonna say, is that the only Pontiac? Are there three, uh, three groups right now? Back in the middle. Wow. Four wide. I mean, with Michael Henson, with Michael Henson and Yodog and Phil Parker, I feel like we should be catching this first pass. I think it's about to be two packs again, because Glenn's the guy helping the other pack. We got Brad 
second sack. Beating the second pack. So. I remember last week, motherfucker. So, Tony, how are we bringing this down? Is the league group the Peloton and these are all the pack, or is the league group the league group and this is Chase 1 and 2? Um. What? I don't know how to answer that. You must be talking about the Tour de France. I just heard, I just, I just heard Peloton and I got really confused. Can you use it in a sentence? Peloton. Can you use the right car on exercise plate? I'll use it in a sentence. We had a very large Peloton until a blown motor split it up. So a Peloton is the pack. This is the main pack. I got you. I, I think I'm <laughs> Frankly, I think the leaders are probably the Peloton right now, this is Chase 1 and Chase 2. Yes, this is the second Peloton. And anybody behind We're in the, the chase, chase already? Somebody behind Chase Group 2 is just off the back. Okay, oh, Elliot's in this race? Hang on. Group, group of Compacto. Group. It is now just the Chase. Impacto? It's a great song. Oh no. Bye, <laughs> da <laughs> <laughs> Mexican driver, even though I think it's Italian. Impacto Rodriguez? No, group Impacto. Tim, if you've listened to Impacto, you'll know it's not Italian. No, no, no. Grupo Impacto, I believe, is Italian or something. Let me go to Google Translate. Steven Spears in the Flex Seal Machine. Riding it out, currently 35th, as rookie Jack Painter is losing the field. Nah, don't let those Ford Mustang logos fool you. He's still super slow. <laughs> He's not John Force. I made it as finish. Uh oh, Jack Painter has lost the draft. <laughs> what in the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great song, Jim. <laughs> Mad no eight. Okay, that's probably back to where I heard it. It's Impacto by Daddy Yankee. Could you say TNA like more times than that? What is that? Guy? <laughs> Isn't that where the Chinese ran a guy over with a tank? <laughs> no. No. No, Tim, you're th <laughs> you're thinking of Times Square. Oh. And here comes the giant fist. Roger's losing the main pack, I was gonna slow down the second pack. Here's the opening lyrics if anybody wants to attempt to sing that. Tiana? <laughs> Tiana, 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 Tiana. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in uh, Google Translate. Here, what's gonna come up? Here and feel the impact. I like that. The impact of what? Uh, I don't know, Tim. The G-forces and the crash work. Oh, okay. Roger's getting dropped, isn't he? Yeah, he yeah. just can't keep up. He's, he's just a little bit down. Like, enough that he can hang in the pan for a few laps and once he goes all the way back, yeah. I think he can hang with the second pack. This fat pack's just going too fast. Sorry, Chase 2. Oh, yes. It's Chase 1. Ooh. Now we have the Peloton and just the Chase 1. This is now okay. not two groups Chase 1. The Seahawks have released DJ Fluker. Who the fuck is that? Our offensive lineman. No wonder I've never heard of him. You don't watch football. Or the Seahawks. Yeah, but I still know who Russell Wilson is. 
Well, uh, test him. I'm gonna release Russell Wilson. And Russell Westbrook, and, um... Uh, what other Russells do I have? Bill Russell? Russell Crowe? Yeah, Russell Crowe. Oh, yes. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Talladega is not the time to do Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. The same guy that was trying to tell the three black guys what, you know, about black history and, you know, racism. That was pretty funny, actually. Well, when I saw the yeah. video, I was like, oh shit, he's gonna say some... And then, like, the host or whatever corrected him on air. I'm like, uh... Brought see him dying on inside. Was that on first take? Yes. yes. Oh, man. Take a key, Parka. Cynthia Pacto. I think JB's the only one that's sick in there. Is he all excited to get a new truck? I'm excited to get freaking Idaho on Tuesday. Are we getting Idaho on Tuesday? I don't know, but every time they put out a big update, we get a state shortly after. I think we will get the, get the state here soon, but I don't know if it'll be this week. It will probably be in May or June. When's the sale? When does multiplayer get updated? Yes. I was about to really sure multiplayer was already updated for the 137. So what should I have for dinner? I've got a free Domino's. Ooh. the race. Congratulations. Did you get the Domino's? Uh, no. I got a gallon of Valvoline. Wow. That's a <laughs> dietary choice right there. I mean, Donald Trump <laughs> said so. Donald Trump, and I mean this in no uncertain terms, is an idiot. Yes. I love how he thinks it makes it better that he hits you both sides of, I'm an idiot, don't know what I'm talking about, basically. Yeah, I don't really care like what side of the political fence you're on, that was pretty stupid. Unfortunately, Spears, we are... As Tim says, we are in chase one. We lost the main pack when Alan Nesfetter blew up in front of the second half of the field. No, it's not chase one, you were in the chase group. Chase group, okay. Peloton. I hope that Nesfetter Racing e either, either fires him... Who, the engine builder? How are they gonna fire him? He's the only driver. Exactly. <laughs> well, we're talking about that because maybe we're thinking that Yodog Motorsports should fire Brandon Reigns. He has 23 finishes of 30th or worse since oh. last season's Daytona 500 where he finished 6th. He hasn't had a top 10 since. Whoa. Pack just scattered for no reason. Must be thinking they should pit. Yeah, oh, yep. Box, box, box. Uh, Tim, did you see any of the NFL draft? Oh! Why would I have watched any of the NFL draft? Because Roger Goodell was in his house, chilling like this, announcing picks, eating M&Ms, on air, and it was great. It was odd. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest, 
the, this looks like the uncle that you're not allowed to spend any time alone with. Let's see, what's he got on his bookshelf? Truman, FDR, another book on Truman. Is that Grant on the right? I he's don't got, know. He's got a book on the right side labeled Dessert. I like dessert. Nothing wrong with some dessert, Tim. What did Bill Belichick <laughs> have behind him? A dog. <laughs> Wait a minute, Bill Belichick is human and loves dogs? Not only does he love dogs, he also hires them as his general manager. You can't tell me he ate all those. Here, they, they cut to the uh, Patriots draft room, or Belichick's draft room, and that's what they saw. <laughs> that, that, that table is tremendously awful! <laughs> what are these chairs?! I think I've seen better shots of a fantasy football draft room, jeez! Oh, his, oh, his so dog name is Nike. Um, apparently that issue with the, uh, the 208 is a known bug that there may or may not be a fix for. Oh, it's just taking off on us? Yeah, I gotta see if I can, because uh, apparently there was an ancient thread on fightsome.com about it. So there's a, they claim, though, that it was fixed in a patch, but uh, since we're running the latest version... Oh, did we ever figure out what Bill O'Brien was extremely upset about? Hate. He just he realized someone traded his best receiver to the Cardinals. <laughs> for a bloated contract for a running back that's not going to play? Yes. But we already have Luke Johnson and Carlos Hyde. Not that Carlos Hyde's that great, but do you really need two thirds of David Johnson on top of that? Yeah, my problem is not that. Because obviously they need a running back, because Carlos Hyde and Duke Johnson aren't good. But, but David Johnson is, like, uh, is, not, stuff. is not better at all than those guys. Not right now, maybe like three years ago. Yeah, exactly. I'll argue that he probably never was. Well, you're just pissed off because you had him and he was on the undroppable list. Yeah, what? that was the stupidest thing in history, and that really made me angry. So, Spears, I'm on the, the flightsim.com looking for... Uh, a fix for the fucking 208, and instead I find a TeamSpeak 3 scam. Oh god. You should have tried to trade in for cash considerations, and then just give the person money to not give you any cash. <laughs> Here, I'll give you David Johnson and five dollars to just... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> just so I can have a roster spot. <laughs> But seriously, that's where I was at with it. I remember you sent in a bunch of trade offers out to everybody. <laughs> oh, I did the same thing in the XFL. <laughs> Tony tried to trade the same guy to like seven different teams, and then two people accepted the trade, and they each had the same player. <laughs> I mean, I was like two and five, I had to do something. Oh yeah, here's uh... Adam offering me David Johnson for Austin Eckler. Okay. <laughs> Just accept that right away. Here we go. Tony offered me David Johnson and Darren Waller for Josh Jacobs. No. I mean, Darren Waller is Darren. Yeah, but... Okay. Just that David Johnson was involved is an automatic veto. Yeah, it's like that player you put in a trade in Madden and the computer's automatically disinterested no matter who it is. Nope. Take him out and they're like, yes, we accept. Rick Jackson comes out in the lead. Were any drivers from the second pack able to latch onto the first pack? Because they had such a good pit stop? Oh, look at Dr. Kelp up there in fourth. Their uh, cheesy bread is really good. Yeah, I'm kind of split between cheesy bread, pasta, or some chicken. Uh, their barbecue 
ranch chicken, chicken or whatever it is, that's pretty good too. I don't like barbecue. Okay, damn. I, I, I suggest get get a, a two liter of Mountain Dew. Oh, Zach, you find your joystick yet? No, I went to Taco Bell. Have you checked in your pants? I don't know. You want to come over here and look? No, I gotta. Do oh. I gotta go under my bed and pull boxes out and start opening. Oh, them. Tony. No. We needed you. That left rear window is causing drag. <laughs> oh, we're not losing. It's causing drag. I, I still haven't figured out what you guys are talking about with the left rear window on that car. It uh, clips overlap. because the transparency is weird. Craig went a lap down. Hmm. Wow. That's huge for the points. The storm I flew through is gone. From Jackson to uh, Pocatello. Who did, the he, what? did he pick twice? He's not up to speed coming out of the pits. I feel like I can get the most food out of pasta. Maybe. He's got a loose wheel. You have to find time to lead me loose wheel. God, they take forever to merge. What does he do? Oh, he's got a problem. Yep. Oh no. Devastation. Devastation in the QSM engine camp. No, they did not get all the lug nuts on, and he's being careful. Land of Devastation is my favorite Genesis song. This is the world we live in. Ooh. He's in the grass. He's so flustered. He's in the grass. <laughs> is like being pounded by rain right now and everywhere it, else is like it, clear it rained like all night last night and all this morning I saw it was raining earlier because uh, I looked at the radar uh, yeah. before I was flying it's been dark and windy since then Look at this draft. So, so here's what I'll say about the weather. Um, today was the first day that Chicago was steady VFR. Sports Time Ohio is re-airing the 2007 ALDS Game 2, also known as the Bug Game. Nice. Lake Erie has a couple islands, right? Oh yeah. We got airports on this island. Um. Yes. Yeah, cool. Yeah, like Port Clinton or something. Or uh, Kelly's Island is another one. Oh yeah, those those are some fun places up there. The islands. They used to have. Uh, it had they, they used to like do like school bus service up there on a fucking trimotor. Dude, there was an airport like right behind my house here that oh, make, closed make, years make, ago. Make like one summer there was a Ford Tri-Motor flying around like almost every day. It was like really cool. Yeah, here Spears, let me send you a flight I built on this board for you. Just like doing some hops on Lake Erie would be fun too. But Michigan, that would also be fun. Yes, Northern Ohio really is a good place. sucks. It's like I've only ever lived on the water. If you live in the city anywhere, it's not going to be that great. Is that the opening lyric from Impacto? No, it's a flight plan. What's his did, name? Did FS9 have a tri-motor in it? Yes. Yeah. yeah, and you can get 
get that for uh, that same trim motor for X I have under. It's it's a bitch to fly. It's I find it easier to fly than the, the DC3 because the tail wheel lock seems to work better. Tim, is that the same one? Because I I like forgot. I knew I played with the tri-motor on one of the sims, I just didn't remember where. Yes, this is the FS9 one converted with some extra skin, which I think is what I have. Just, I think I downloaded it somewhere else because it downloads faster from flightsim.com. Yes, I, be I believe that, definitely. Next week is Valvoline 52 lap life. <laughs> Devastating. That's what he gets for being in the fast pack. Let's see, uh. Tim, you sent that and I was like, man, I don't know how to look at this easily. Fuck it, I'll just go on Sky Vector. Yeah, that's, that's what I would recommend. I wish oh. I could send the whole flight plan to you on Sky Vector. Just like, oh yeah, here's all. Crazy is how dominant Herb Thomas was for a while. And Tim Flock for like Tim Flock too. Two separate years. Uh, I blame the monkey. Wait for Richard Petty to show up on this list and explode. 
Yeah, it takes a while, actually. I think you get halfway through the video before he shows up. And then Jared and Junior Johnson explode before Richard Petty. And then Fireball Roberts actually exploded. Yes. yes. Ironically, with Junior Johnson and then Jared Mayer. And then SpongeBob exploded, exclaiming, Gary, you are going to eat your dessert, and you are going to like it. What year did Ned Jarrett win 13 races? So, I saw a video today. Uh, it's the clip from the episode of SpongeBob where he's afraid to leave his house. When he finally leaves his house, he gets hit by a piece of paper, except they put on the coronavirus over the paper. Yes. I was like, yeah, that was a A magical place. With magical charm. Take it away, Penny. Oh, uh, so here. here. These are like pit stops really broken the groups up again. It's about the same as it was. This is a much smaller group time. I don't know, Tim. I don't think so, too. Now, Dale is here. This is definitely a smaller draft. There's, about, there's like three cars that lost to draft. Oh, there it is, Rich Petty. Ding 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 Holy crap. Here comes the train! But look at David Pearson though. Oh yeah, here there he goes. Yeah, dude, I think David Pearson. It's one of those guys that like if you could make a run full time all those years, how different his career probably looks. I got an email from the motorsports team head coach. You could say the same thing about so many guys from the 60s oh, yeah. that just retired. Making it so easy for Petty to win that many. Like the Fred closing Benson. of the school's race shop has extended until May 22nd. Ned Jarrett retired too early. Retired too late. Daryl Waltrip, Bobby. Yes. Daryl Waltrip Darryl. probably retired later than anyone should have. Oh yeah. Man, look at the guys getting trailed off this chase car. What about Richard Petty? At least Richard Petty would be mid-pack. Daryl Waltrip would be last. Daryl was not making races. That's Dog. what makes it so bad. Dog, sing us impacto. R.I.P. No. Came to let us know that it's bullshit. He blew up. Adam craps it. I think this mod came to let us know that he doesn't care. I have like two bites left of this burrito, and it's like all beans. So the 29th or 30th on back is separated. It's yeah, right out of Dodge. Gotta keep them separated. Keep them separated. This is gonna be a bad day for Lucas Racing, Tony. I was waiting for the soundboard. You're the only one in the top 30. <laughs> Jared lost all of the draft. Not good. I blown up yet? No, you're in the second Shame. hexagon. Here comes <laughs> Dale Earnhardt. You know, Dale really didn't win that many races. He like, raced, I mean... He raced when there was only, like, 28 races, though. Yeah, that's fine. Like, I mean, he won a lot of races compared to those he was racing against, but... Not, not even counting Richard Petty. He really didn't win that many races. It's because Dale had a lot of year... Well, not a lot, but... At, you know, he actually, I'll say, he did. He did have a lot of years where he only had one or two wins. And it wasn't his fault. Like, no. 99, 98... 
Ninety eighty one Daytona and nothing else. I was actually like, looking at that yesterday. Like I'm pretty sure ninety two he only wins one race. Well, I've got a whole in two thousand one I think he would have won some more races where not for that whole being dead thing. Two thousand he was he, yeah, he was very competitive in two thousand. He probably would have won the same amount Harvick won with it. Like two races and maybe like top five in the standings. Gordon was just too good that year. I think he still would have won the championship. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, Jeff Gordon really kind of like didn't do too good in the mid 2000s. Huh, almost like someone came in as a teammate and started winning over him. Yes, and his name is Casey Mears. Terry Labonte. <laughs> oh, God. No, Terry Labonte would just top five you to death. Like, Jimmy Johnson's run from when he starts winning to like the end of now. Yeah, there he, he is. He went on a huge run. Huge run. Welcome to the party, Jimmy Johnson. As the elevator says, going up. Harvick goes from, towards the end of the video, he goes from oh, yeah. 24th after 2014 to, uh, I think, 11th or 12th. Actually, it might be 13th to and he's now. He's going to keep going. It's crazy to think how many races he's won in the last six years. Funny, you can see 2011 when we hit the chase. And then, uh, him and Kyle Busch. Tony Stewart, Tony Stewart, Tony Stewart. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yeah, he goes from like 16th to 13th. And then that's it. You like, know, I'm going to be honest, Dan does not have a very Talladega car. Like, even though Harvick hasn't won the championship and Kyle Busch haven't won the championship every year. Since 2013, him and Kyle Busch have dominated the Cup Series. Alright, I think Butter lost the draft. You're talking about Kyle and Harvick? Yes. Yeah. A big three! Harvick's pulling a, uh, John Elway. As I get older, I'm gonna start finally winning. Well, I wish he John Elway is on a better team now. I wish he was in that equipment his whole career, just to see what his numbers would be. Could you imagine Kevin Harvick's stats, or even just the team stats, if it was Harvick that followed Stewart to SHR in 2009 and not Newman? Crazy. Imagine I said, if it had been Harvick and SHR instead of Danica. <sighs> yeah. After about one season, that's what it should have been. No, I mean, it's, it's really is true, like, nobody knew, and then at, by, I think, 2016, people finally were accepting, like, oh my god, what is going on with RCR? Oh boy. Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. Cars are driving terrible. No, Lugster's gonna have to rely on the Arca car to get back in the draft. He's getting They're Mitch slapped in the other. face with a cold, destroyed remnants of pepperoni pizza. 
What's the new truck we're getting, Tim? We're getting the Mac Anthem. Could, oh. could today be Rick Jackson's 75th win? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least do a both loss the draft because they can't get to the plow, right? People are lining up asking our... Restart that. People are already lining up asking, will you ever win it? Could tonight be the night? And then Ryan Newman goes by the outside. At he least might finish second or win, and then he does something that makes him do neither. 2005 when he tried to murder Jimmy Johnson. Just remember, hey, I'm Tony Stewart. Let's bring in the closing laps. It's interesting. Oh, there goes Tony. The dude could race, race well. well. He was a good plate racer, except for the Daytona 500. <laughs> and Talladega. Just remember, Scott Jackson is going for 75, and Rick Jackson is going for 60. I don't like us being four wide like this. Well, let's, let's just take solace in the fact that at least in 2008 he didn't choose to launch himself off a cliff in a dune buggy. Like Michael Or Jeff Gordon did with him 10 years later. Come on, Tony, it'll be fun. How come Miller doesn't have a die cast of Tony's Talladega win in the Toyota? They're really hard to find. It felt like cars like really rare. It's kind, of like a, it's kind of like a Yu-Gi-Oh card, you gotta collect it in like five pieces. Yeah, I'll buy you some screws at Lowe's and bolts. I think it cut to the Napa logo and you just hear the, the, the ADR the guy going, It's okay, you can sign one of the bigger pieces. Buy one of the bigger ones. Oh. Slowly dropping people out of this group. Honestly, though, for a diecast from 2008, that's pretty expensive. It's very expensive. It's the price of a new one. What have we done? We lost uh, four or five cars on this green flag run from this pack. We lost Philip Parker, Butter, Don Stewart, Young Dog. I'm pretty sure that that subway car was like one of the only times that he ever ran a car that wasn't like primarily Home Depot his entire time with Gibbs. Up at least. Dave Roger. There you go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was, uh... God, that old Spice car looks weird. They want to keep you updated. That's honestly. She's. That's a a good looking old spice car, honestly, and I think it looks better than his cup old spice cars. It does. You know, those two being paired up is kind of the worst as the guys that have gotten dropped as single cars. At least. Yeah, Lugster and. 
They might be able to stay ahead of the second pack before pit stops again. I mean, the good thing is, at the beginning of the race when we got dropped, we were battling for like 20th, now we're going to be battling for 13th once we catch Ludster and Phil Parker. They look like they're like 8 years old in that picture. It's hard to believe that 2007 was 13 years ago. Please don't remind me. It's hard to believe 2000 was 20 years ago. I know, when I look at, uh, like, used cars, I'll look at the dates and I'll be like, Oh, 2009? Let's see. Oh, God. Never yeah. mind. That's 11 years old. I drive a 2012 and I'm like, that's actually not that new. Probably new at all. Like, in 2012, that would have been equal to buying, like, a car from 2004. Like, thanks. That's a odd picture. I don't know what that's about. Was Dalton about to get caught by the third group? <laughs> there is a third group? Yes, the, the, the group of misfit cars. We are the island of misfit cars. That's what I say. Now, Tony, when the, when the big one happens, the car goes flipping down the back stretch. The only shot you're going to have is going to be that shot from the front stretch, right? You know what? I wouldn't doubt that Dalton does that. You know? I don't believe that, that these cars are ahead of Tony right now. Now they're not going to be. I don't think I've ever seen that car. Tony's going to lose his group if he's not careful. With an orange spoiler on it? I'm pretty sure I already lost the group when I caught back up. But now I'm going to lose it again. Little, little. Ow. Man, look at all those damn campers instead of the track. That was great. Tony, you're going to go Walter Panette into 92. <laughs> Is that well, a decent. No, you run decent every race and show up for the super speedways and you run like 35th. You get beat by Stan and Smith. Anti Colwit. Dalton is Stan Smith. Hey, Gang did that too. Dude, I'm pretty so, sure. I'm so fast, I'm just flying really wide by people. What race are you on in 92? Uh. Uh. Rockingham. I think I'll get to Atlanta on Tuesday night. Pretty sure you're watching Daryl's last hurrah season. Every Tuesday night! It was definitely his last win. I don't want that shirt. Corny Stewart driving through nails. No, I definitely want that Vladimir Putin driving a champ car shirt. Huh? Have you not seen that shirt? I don't think so. I'll get it for you. Oh god. Why are they four wide? <laughs> well, you know what I say about four wide spears. They need a caution. There's they no need time a, like the present. They need what's his name? No limit Phil telling everybody to stay in line and work together. <laughs> well, he goes hauling up into the wall. <laughs> uh, at least he owns up to do it. What? Oh yeah, didn't he like actually race for a, a while, or once, or something? I don't think he's ever been on a race car, to be honest with you, at uh, any real speed. God. That's like one of those shirts that like you buy outside of a racetrack, sold by somebody who like isn't associated with anybody, and just puts like a generic ass car shirt with yes. a schedule on the back. And it's a very track name that just has like cities listed on it or something. Yeah, like, that's actually shot out. Like, it's a damn fan. Raw video, Russian Prime Minister Putin drives F1 car. Let me guess, Formula or no? Wow. I don't know, that is an actual F1 car, alright. Yeah, but he's like, 
Just do a highway. No, way, no it's not. All by himself, that's bold. Yeah, that's the way to lose the draft. Mark Guthrie, no. 12 cars. He don't care. Gee, he's out there running laps. Listen, when you skip, off skip, that skipping the guys time. brought Mark over to go back and put the fun back into racing. Maybe he needs a relief driver. We're gonna put the fun back in front of me. I don't know. Old farts racing don't care about winning. Just Finishing. Tell that to Rob. Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now he's in the Steven Spears line, the not top 35. Here's the other old farts racing member. Zach, this is a. Uh, that guy is who I watched race with the modifieds and within four minutes he kept telling everybody to like and subscribe to watch his oh. channel was that who that was yes yeah the xfinity mod's not that great his indy car mod though is like really good it's really cool and i really want to run indy again Maybe we should do that in our if we do an off week between truck seasons we just run like a indy 500 in the owr mod the full indy 500. i mean i'd do it I was confused. Have, have you ever run the like OWR hacked EXE install? Dude, you fly at Indy. You fly at any oval. No, it's great. You do like 230 at Texas. It's actually like an Indy car. I think that and GTP are the only two hacked EXEs that actually got released before the Pirates Eye Racing said stop. No, you're forgetting one. You're forgetting the Uli Uli mod. Papa Racing. Ha! Um, oh. Ned Jarrett. How'd these guys get so unlucky as to park all four cars in a row? That's crazy. <laughs> Is it just me or do like... I had a flashback to last year's race. Like watching those cars on pit road. I think like all four of them pitted at the same time. I think Miller's losing some time. That's gonna Look cost him. Oh, how is baseball going? The last game that I played may have been the greatest baseball game in history. Oh, I gotta look at it now. And... Well, you'll see if you're looking at it. Where should I start? Start... at about the ninth inning. And go from there. You guys looked at the virtual sim season? Oh, no, not recently. Who's leading? Yeah. Is this your game against the Angels? Yes. Well, Tony, let's just say the Red Sox are 9-21. Oh. Mm, not good. Yes. Yeah, I don't understand it either. Are the Marlins the Padres... still winning the East and the NL? No, the Braves are up there. Marlins are 14-14. 14 and 14. Tigers are 9-19. and 19. Padres are 8-19. and 19. Royals are 13-14. and 14. I don't understand why the Red Sox are 9 and 21. Here comes Keith Folk, but there's still 10 minutes of video left. Oh no. Spears, I wonder if any of these drivers need a relief driver like Robert Presley at Martinsville. <laughs> they tried to put Johnny Rumley in the car. And NASCAR, after he had already caused a caution, NASCAR said, uh, you didn't practice this car, you're not allowed in the car. So they just parked him. Nice. Back him out. Uh, there's still 10 minutes of video. I'm gonna figure out a way to get, like, three cars in the top three and the rest of the field falls back to the pack. The chase group. Do you 
I recognize like almost nobody on this Red Sox roster. Ooh. Yes. Tells you how much of a casual fan I am. How was that off the wall? I thought it was going to be at the after this first strike. When that was off the right field wall, right center. That Nixon, I guess, missed. Back, 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 back. Oh, you're watching the wrong game. I'm sorry. The game before God that. God damn it. <laughs> oh, the game before that? That was okay. a good game, too, though. Jeez. <sighs> They're the Angels, but yeah, I guess. Well, they're both the Angels. Oh, shit. I skipped too far ahead of in the 11th inning. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to assume that the Angels tie it. Yeah, I wouldn't watch the whole thing, because it takes... It's like 40 minutes of extra innings. I was so confused. I heard those people talking. I'm like, what team speak is he on? <laughs> That's the only one <laughs> Well, no, I didn't hear him talk. I heard the other dude. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, what? We join Gary Bender and Matt Hayden for all the hard-hitting oh, action no. as the Eagles take on the Cardinals. That's 8 p.m. tomorrow night, Sunday night. The NFL. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that was the Sunday Night promo. Sunday Night, Bam, Sunday night Football on TNT. Was that a guy having a fucking stroke? What was <laughs> <laughs> I said it sounded like an alarm clock. It looks like only 10 cars are going to be on the lab or on the main pack. Wow. What blew my mind is I had no idea that Sunday Night Football was on TNT at one point. Like, what? Yeah, I didn't even know TNT was a network back then. Ortiz! I think TNT... Uh, I think TNT formed in like 80-something. Oh. Yeah, Tony, have you seen an episode of The Mariners? I did. Yeah, dude, I, did, I had no idea about David Ortiz. That totally, like... Six hundred feet. You're like, we're watching this? them. We're like, who is this guy? We're like, wait, what? <laughs> and they zoom out as a picture of Ortiz, and I'm like, what? I didn't realize. I didn't realize until they said he was playing in Appleton, Wisconsin. I was like, you know what? I think that's David Ortiz. Yeah, I was like, really like thinking, like, okay, this guy's got to be really good. Hated him. Ah, who is it? And I didn't know that Ortiz played with anybody before uh, the Twins. I assumed it was some legend that got hurt in college. So, here's my question. What is in Appleton? Wisconsin. What do you mean? Like, what is there in Appleton that causes it to be such a city that has things? Like, I don't know what's there. I don't know, probably because it's like a half hour from Green Bay. Like the only thing I know of that's based in Appleton is Air Wisconsin. I didn't know that. Dan's doing a hell of a job hanging on. I think I just heard myself. Yes, I heard you too. I didn't, I had like muted it for a second. Like, I didn't know if you were yelling about extravaganza or. Yeah, I, I was doing it for a second. Dang, look at that. We're only nine seconds behind. I think we were 12 seconds behind when we came in for pit stops. I mean, at this point, we probably have more cars than the lead pack. I think you lost some, though, to the third pack. Let's see if we gain any this time. 981. 909. Oh, man. We gained almost a second that time. 
Tony, I hope you're in this pack. Oh no, you're oh, 20 seconds no. behind. I'm drafting with Steven Spears in 30th. <laughs> 8 p.m. tomorrow night, Sunday night, the NFL. Beep, 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 beep. Spears, how did you end up in the third pack? You were in the second pack, weren't you? <laughs> Yeah, because I'm bam, 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 bam on the throttle. <laughs> Back there tacking out, running 10,000 RPMs. Hey, I pushed you to a win tacking out one time. That was a lot of fun. Oh my I god. I really thought I was gonna blow up. 909. Oh, now it's even out. 902. Man, I can't believe Dan's still there. It's not butter. Oh my god. <gasps> <gasps> oh, it's gonna hurt us oh. even more. Wow. Stay in line, work together. Wow, this is fucking sideway. Wow. <laughs> That was a human. Human. He would. He would have died immediately. Yes. But Tony Only the AI can save it. If that was a Delta Sim. That would have been the. Biggest. So, first time in my 2003 racing career that I've ever had a race go green and then a yellow immediately. Well, it was Miller's fault, so we can't blame it all on the Delta guys. No, it was definitely Miller's fault. Blinking some bitch. Then there was the wreck under yellow. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Which, which one? Yeah. You talk about where Wolf just hooks right, going 60 miles an hour, and slides up to bait. <laughs> and then doesn't put for the yellow dog. Oh, man. It's nice to see the Delta Sim guys mad at the other Delta Sim guys, though. I think that I... was honestly, like, the first Talladega race that I've, like, straight up just dominated. So... Very serious question. They're all for all this retro shit. Why the fuck are they doing a lucky dog? Uh, I needed that lucky dog. <laughs> Cause, what, cause, watch your fucking mouth, re Tim. Remember, Tony, you gotta be at the back. Because they're used to having only like six cars in a field. And if That's you have half a field a lap down and there's only six cars, then there's no point in racing. I can tell like, he was about to rip his hair out. <laughs> I know! Like, take, take, take an EOL, he'll take an EOL. Line up the back, line up the back, line up the back. You're like, I know! I'm kind of pushed. And then he apologizes because he's like, oh wait, yeah, that, that's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I know! Stop it! Shut up! I know! Stop yelling at me. Ah! Yeah, I can't. Like, after I fall out and it's one to green, I can't just pit. <laughs> you know? I mean, if you're lapped down and line up at the back of the field, I don't think it penalizes anybody. Like, if you just drop to the back, even if the game doesn't tell you to. Although that was within 10 to go, that might not have worked. Before 10 to go, it says line up on the inside, but it doesn't care where you're at. I don't know. I think they've been getting... I think they're on their, like, attendance streak that they have not had in so long that I feel like they're getting overwhelmed. There's really no reason not to be. We're not doing anything. We're just running a race. Yeah, don't get overwhelmed. Just be happy. Just hey. do your fucking job. He updated the homepage. Good lord. God, see, this is why I wanted to put stupid contingencies on my car, because... <sighs> I like this game. It's perfect, but like, yeah, your car looks ridiculous. Just kidding, Miller, if you're listening. Dalton's about what? to get lapped. Supposedly, I'm gonna get a new car for Dover this week. So. Surprise! Well, here I told you what it is. Oh no! He spoiled the surprise. It's going to be a retro Jack Lynx Ford. Awesome! That was like one of my favorite cars we had at NSRA. Eighty-two. 
Will I go no. well for you? Why are we running Martinsville 95 and Arrow 88? Yeah, we should be running Martinsville 88 in Arrow 88. Why are we running Concrete Dover in Arrow 88? Yeah. You know, Ziggy goes on this whole thing about having mods older than 30 years. What about tracks? Lego Lover 2435. Anywhere I can join now? Please. In no. the number 42? Uh, no. Oh, now there's 93. Okay. But, like, I honestly. Any, any way I can join now, and he has a picture of a GN70 car? Say where there's smoke, uh -oh. there's wrecked race cars. Uh -oh. Where there's smoke, there's Tony flipped over 15 minutes. In the arms of Bobby Isaac. That's in a the position for any of us except for Tim flying. to be wrecked. Odd, what did. Oh, it already happened. Oh, there's me. Everyone except for Tim was in this. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! oh. Whoa! Oh! Big contact. Oh! Get that son of a bitch out of the race car out! He's gone! <laughs> that might be the first I've seen cars look like that! That was kind of like uh, Ernie Irvin, or uh, yeah, Ernie Irvin and Stan Mullen and Bill Hayes. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. I say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Now he's <laughs> so angry for no reason. Even though he had a tryout arranged with several NFL teams and completely skipped it for his own thing to put on YouTube. What is Philip Parker doing? He's trying too hard in that Arkham machine. Like, no wonder we weren't catching the leaders that much anymore with four wide. Oh, They added, instead of doing a separate points for the season, they added our points from this season to the ones from last season. So it's cumulative points, and JB's still in the point lead.
You run a Dover with us? I don't know. He's, he's probably tired of building setups. Hello. Hello. How's everybody? I have a question. How I have an come answer. Whenever Kevin connects to TeamSpeak, I never get told a new user joins. Because I never actually disconnect, I just switch channels. Oh! Yeah, he never connected, he was so. definitely on camera one. Oh! That would explain it. Back up on oh. the road. I'm coming out second, let's go! Because technically I've been on for five days straight. You just like not shut your computer off? Not really. I've never gotten a clear answer of whether it's better or not to leave it on or shut it off. I mean, personally, I've never had any issues always leaving it on. But that's anecdotal at best. When Philip Parker caused that wreck, I'm pretty sure this is what his spotter was saying. What the hell? <laughs> Had no idea where this was going at first. Dean Martin <laughs> is the greatest. Dean Martin is the spotter of Philip Parker. Yeah, uh, Dean Martin's second grandson is, is Mark Martin. Phil yes, who is <laughs> Philip Parker's uh, fourth cousin twice removed. <laughs> How the hell am I 10th in Delta points already? Dude, I told you, because you win. Suck. Yes. They're points. No, seriously, they're points. If you win or you finish in the top three, you're going to fly up the standings and you'll stay there all season. I guess yeah. winning and finishing third at Watkins Glen and fourth at wherever has have made up for my being pile of Flaming shit, the Pocono. Oh, look at all these slow cars. The slow cars are gonna be in the way. Dan's leading. Come on. Coming in the flag. Lap he thought this. Dan oh, Dan so Ryan Hoiser, Jimmy Stevens, Rick Jackson, Tim McDonald, Michael Henson, John Tharp, Mike Carroll, Mark Guthrie, and Jonathan Scrabix. How far? How far outside 107 percent was Kevin this week? Uh. Infinity, he didn't race. <laughs> oh great, first I missed the rake and then I almost break my leg last night. That's awesome. What'd you do that for? I was just trying to get out of my buddy's truck and the damn ground gave way underneath me. I didn't plan on it. That sounds like a thing a drunk guy says, and then the ground gave way underneath me. To be fair, we were on a sandy off road, uh, park, so... It's because the moon hit your eye like a big pizza pie. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <happened. laughs> no, when I uh, hopped out the side, hit some sand, it shifted, and I twisted my knee up pretty bad. Oh no, that doesn't oh, sound good. Oh, 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 no! What the oh, heck? Broderick, oh, Broderick, oh, don't come oh, up. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. One. Everybody's in. Oh, Ben. Dude, I, oh. I, I, might, I might be okay. I didn't hit anything too terrible. How did I miss that? Just by mentioning win 75, Spock has ruined Rick Jackson's race yet again. I don't think Rick is going to get win number 64 today. It's a good thing Kevin did not qualify, or his leg would be completely broken after that wreck. With the team on his back, though. Dang, Matt hit him hard. That was a violent wreck. Oh, shit. Dale gets his lap back. Wow. Lucky dog. That's incredible. Uh, we will not go to his in-car because it could be very vulgar. It'll go, it'll go out. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> you can hear like Tony queue up, and all of a sudden I just heard an impact, and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> oh no. Tim is so lucky this isn't realistic damage. Well, I'm also lucky that I just hit the wall and didn't get fucking wow. cleared. I cannot believe Spears made it through that. That was scary.
Guess my guy decided not to kill himself anymore. That Ask was a really hard rest. hit on the driver's side. It really was. I'm just gonna walk around the wide open here. <laughs> hey, he, he, well, he made it through. Sort of. <laughs> to be fair. He did get hit. I think that started with Tim and Broderick there. Yes. Yeah, I think Broderick came up. Oh, damn it, Broderick. Dude, he constantly he literally moved. He's like, I'm just gonna move up. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving up. Alright. I'm just gonna keep moving up. There it goes. Speedy's like. Where's my nose? Where's my nose? Ooh, did Speedy get hit hard? Tim should be fine. Yeah, they barely hit him. I don't think Speedy's happy with Tim. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, Speedy's really happy with Tim. That was the hardest hit of the whole red Oh! Speedy, uh. Yeah, Speedy, that was uncalled for, and he should be black flagged and part. This just in from the COVID care center, Rick has torn his sphincter in this crash. There's really no other way to put it. I mean, he got fucked on that hit. Holy shit. He said he got hit and felt like somebody had unzipped his anus. Look at this. I don't think the Lugster hit anyone that hard, which is good. This my pick. Oh, man. Spock picked Zach Miller. Tim, I don't know what's funnier, this video or the title. to join a, a betting pool with me on how long it's going to be before he sells the Switch. About two months. It took him two months before he wanted to sell his flight sim stuff. Man, his car is destroyed. Yeah, I give it to about the end of the quarantine. How long is that, though? That's not who you ask. It could be tomorrow yeah. for the people who want to go out and get sick today, or it could be when it's okay to, which we don't know. This just in, Caitlin Vinci is now doing iRacing using a Driving Force GT. Don't know why Caitlin Vinci wants to do iRacing, but cool. Uh -huh. Tony just fell off a cliff. No! What? Oh no! Oh, what happened? I have oh, no! What? Who's going to sideways? Broke Maybe physics. the 12 will start a rivalry with the 48 like the 65 has. Dude, at Richmond, he wrecked you again. Yes. Fuck you, Jonathan! What aggression? The blend line violation on the 4 and 85? <laughs> It's like they're fire. being like, yeah, like, what are they doing? Uh, Where are they going? Just, just gonna drive on this what line here. Doing? Why? Man, they worked so hard the, to get back oh, into the freaking no. Oh, draft, draft. oh, no. What's surprising what is, is that, uh... Fuck you, bitch! Zach, did you still out? Err. I don't know. I was gonna say it's surprising that Tony flips like three times at Richmond and not once at Talladega. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god! He flips like eight, eighteen. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, oh, no. When did this happen? Oh no! When the hell did this happen? Oh, this is just gone from 
I is this good to elevator. bad to straight up loony? Let's see who caused that. Oh no. If it's the 54, he's he's done. No, there, there's a checkup at the end of the line, and Ooh, they just stacked oh. up. Yeah, a I bunch think, of people just, like, split off here. I think Tony has more damage than Glenn. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. my God. Miller. Like, Miller just... Miller should get charged for beating an old man. <laughs> How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Wow, that was stupid. <laughs> what the hell did I just see? Damn it. Damn it. Look, hey, uh, check it up, guys. Check it up. Okay. Oh. Oh god, dude, fully in R too. Oh, fully again. Somebody, he had so much damage there, it didn't even matter. Wow, Miller, yeah, Miller's fucked now. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. This is worse than the Speedway Cup races. You push Philip Parker into Miller, which then flips Glenn. Philip Parker needs to get off the track. Oh my god! Oh. There'll be a conversation in the extravaganza hall following the race. Meanwhile, Dale's just casually getting his lap back. Well, screaming obscenities and racial epithets. Oh god, they almost wrecked again. I would have laughed so hard if they did. My goodness. <laughs> the hell kind of... Oh, oh! <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, this is not the best AI. Somebody needs to, like, redo the merge lines or something. I'm completely fucking lost right now. Like, I don't even know why I'm up here. Somehow, Zach Millick... Zack Michael is your leader. Yay! I don't think you pitted. That's fine, I'll just pit under green, that's what I do. I pick her like added pressure. Oh, oh shit. Tony driving into that last wreck. Oh no! Oh, you got one blowing up. Oh god. Another one blowing up. Bad day. Jack Painter, that's what you get for outrunning me. <laughs> He's not Bad day to be a cylinder at a Talladega. Hey, points wide. Oh yeah. Gotta give it to them. They have shown up oh, well. No. This rookie season. Their Matt McCoy has had the worst season ever. He's been of this year. I don't know. I think mine's probably worse. Qualifying wise, yes. When you show up, you do pretty good. Wow. It's all dependent on if my flatbed trailer makes it there in one piece. Yeah, you need to get a new driver. I don't know what's more obnoxious, that wreck or whatever sound is coming out of Connor Daly. Yeah, no kidding. I had the audio muted, to be honest. Good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I would rather listen to his dad say the N-word than... <laughs> That fucking wow. it sounds like a squeaky toy that like went into like a crusher or something. Jesus. Have you guys seen the videos of the squeaky chicken toy being put through vacuum cleaners? Why is the 56 lined up in front of me? It's a 51 and he's on the tail end of the lead lap. That's stupid. Learn your fucking car numbers. <laughs> I don't care, he's usually at the back anyway. Coming to the flag, it's Zach Michael, uh, Randy yeah. Dobbins, John Tharp, Ryan Hoyser, Jonathan Scrabbix. And he's checking up the field! Oh no. Well, it's not gonna be good. Let's see if we got a black for passing there. Black well, four wide already. Damn, you know what I say about four wide? There's no well, time. It's not gonna be present. good. Oh, and the 65's spread in behind the slow car. Slow car, it's gonna be in the way. Why? Yeah, I don't we're going to the bottom. 68. Yeah, we are like dividing the field up here. There's too many wrecked pieces of shit. He's not a wrecked piece of shit. He's just that fucking slow. That's good. It's extra, extra protection. Extra. That's 
for a while. I think that's how that works. I don't need no stinking hood. Meanwhile, we have a change for the lead, but we're watching last place. I mean, Tony, have fun not being in the trap. Tony, it's a good thing you're running uh -oh. terrible anyway. Can't wait for Ben. Can't wait for Ben Gear to somehow go from top ten running to finishing fortieth. There's anyone that can do it. It is him. Is it even possible now? Don't we have enough cars out? He can still finish fortieth if Matt's Rick six laps now. Oh no! Wow. Jokes on you. He kept going. He, he might be out. Oh, oh he's out. Devastating. I mean, they hit a ton. Like I said, poor Rick just tore his finger in that wreck, man. Another bad finish for Rick. Another bad finish for Matt. It's been a very bad season for both. The 65 is basically blocking the rest of the cars behind them because they can't ever go anywhere. You mean the 68? Yeah, sorry, the 68. The 65, that's you, dipshit. I mean, same thing. Say, yeah, seriously though, same <laughs> thing. I guys slow as shit everywhere too, so. Farts Racing, Mark Guthrie, having fun today. Bringing the fun back to racing. Right. Bring the fart back to old fart. He is leading the three-car team, 35th in points. <coughs> Rob is 36th. Dale is infinity sign. What? Six laps back. He's Ernie Irvin at Darlington. <laughs> what are you talking about? Then Rowan was trying to get one of his like six laps back and wreck the whole field and killed me about it. What the fuck is the 68 up front? This Talladega where the leader comes up off the bottom out of every corner. Look at Scott Jackson going for 75. And coming up off the bottom in every corner. It was his cousin's turn earlier. Now it's his turn. Or bro whatever they are. Cousins. Cousin brothers. Mark's trying to get a lot back too. Uncle sisters. I think you've broken away from the second pack. Poor Tim. You're very lucky in that wreck, the way you hit the wall. Yeah, I just happened to get stuck behind all sorts of slow cars on that restart, which just sort of blows. Look at that flex seal car going to the top five. He's just flexing on all those seats. Now he's moving off Aww. the bottom to the middle lane. I'm not sure I would call this late yet. One more pit stop and then it's late. His 
Ryan Spears. Jonathan Scrabix battling for the lead. Spears, we're gauging slope cars off how, they, how fast they are compared to you earlier in the race. You're gonna left rear the 48 here. Send him to the fucking moon. No. <laughs> 48's got what a good a super bag. speedway program this year. He does. He's pretty fast. He won that duel, didn't he? He did. Yes. One more mill got wrecked. I mean, get wrecked. It took the whole field to crash, but he did win. I mean, he was up there at the time, though. A win is a win. That's what I say. Well, well, it's a thrill. What a wonderful race. <laughs> Screw that Dalton's a lap down. He's having a pretty good run. I know. Broderick goes all the way to the back of this pack after trying to get a lap back. It's okay, they're all, the entire top five here is going to shuffle to the back in about three laps. And then the guys in the back will now pull up to the front and lead. It is a pattern. Well, you know, Roger. The high races work. You want your guy to be like, just getting to the, the inside line with like three or four to go. And then uh, stay down there. Well, he's not going to stay down there. The winner of this race is going to be like second or third on the last lap. No one's just Sherlock. Dalton, getting back on the lead lap. Or maybe one lap down. I have no idea how many laps down he is. He's only one. I think we get a caution right now, otherwise he's not going to get back. What the fuck was that? It's the that? sound of, the, it's a lead change. Whenever we get a lead change, <laughs> that's what it sounds like. I didn't know TNT even did NFL games at any point. Joining Gary Bender and Pat Hayden. Bam, 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 bam. Sunday night. Yeah. Yeah, 
I can, I mean, either ESPN or CBS Sports would take over the Fox Fox contract. If Fox News, we're going to go to like only one or two races on Fox all season. Yeah, you're pretty much going to get the Coke 600 and Daytona 500, and that'll be it. NASCAR needs to figure out how to get the contracts for the majority of the seasons on the -the over-the-air channels. So that seems to be the only way people ever tend to watch these fucking races. Seems like it's almost time for a promotional in this race. Since you made a commercial, I gotta make a commercial. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, that's the funniest thing I've seen all day. What the fuck was that? What did I just watch? Good year commercial. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tim, I already used you, but I couldn't find a picture of you. I could have guessed what you looked like and made an avatar of you. Just paste it off of the speedy helmet. (laughs) But you gotta sign in on LinkedIn now to view profiles? What the hell? That bullshit. The one I just think is is Tim and his dog, though. That's fine. Oh, uh, by the way. It's even better for that commercial. We said, Tim, I was going through my downloads folder the other night. Um, cleaning out, like, deleting a bunch of, like, duplicate track downloads and shit, and I found something called secure-download.jpg, and my avatar is what it is. And I was perplexed. Okay. <laughs> Why did you ask that? I don't know. <laughs> That's your dog? Yes. Yogi wearing antlers, and he's not happy about it. Is that the dog And in- Yes, it is. When would... When did I download this? December 23rd, 2011? That was like two weeks after I got this computer. At 11 p.m. That's crazy. Uh, so that, that's been chilling in my downloads for like nine years, and I just found it. <laughs> <laughs> we got antlers for my dog, too, but she did not like them. Oh, Yogi hated them. They, they, they would only stay on him just long enough to get a picture. I see. They'd be like dork and they'd fall off. <laughs> oh, and there was this. Put him behind his ears, he might, you know, keep him on there for a Oh, huh. I like tacos. I remember you making this. It is the pain I did. And then Mike made the hero card. I should hand those out. That is just god awful. <gasps> I think that was honestly like Spears. I think that was like my first Wiggles paint scheme without knowing it. Do what? I said my avatar. I think was like my first Wiggles paint scheme without actually realizing that's what it ended up being. Inspiring. Cool. Spears, you look like you're trying to hold in a fart. I don't even remember taking this picture. Well, uh, judging yeah, by the fact that your hands are to your side, I don't think you took the picture at all. No, I did not. Selfie stick attached to his waist. To his pecker. Well, I wasn't gonna go there. Oh, it's not big enough. <clears throat> I think that's what extends is for. Oh, we got that four wide back in the pack. Narf.
Uh oh, a slow car. It's gonna be in the way. Two of them. Well, usually the time is when I'm getting screwed by a slow car. It's gonna use a slow car. Hit the bicycle! Randy Dobbins is going for one number 28 today. Are you having a good day or a bad day today? Or what kind of day was it? at any second snap and go, hey, can you like speak English? Can I start with it? Makes sense. Everyone's like, oh, I told you to such an asshole. I'm like, I don't know, man. I got to hang out with him for a while. He was pretty cool. Then the dude come up to him as soon as he steps out of the race car, garaging him for autographs. Yeah, oh, there were so many people that did that. I just was like, hey, man. Somebody with, like, a pen and was like, can you sign this? I'd be like, yeah, how about you go fuck yourself? <laughs> I just walked up to him and said, hey, I don't want to take too much of your time. I just want to shake your hand and say thank you for coming out and get a picture with you. I'm like, that's perfect. Kids are totally different. I don't know, to me... No, fuck those kids. Because that takes longer. What, a picture and a handshake? Than an autograph? It takes less time. Especially if you got everything set up. No, no hand touching. I just give him a shot. Like, here. Here's a needle. Here <laughs> here's some whiskey. Give him a shot. Ah, uh, finally. God, this was hard to find. Oh, Christmas tree? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is going on there? <laughs> I can't find the one that, where Jamie put the Brothers logo on it. But... <laughs> Me either. Looking for Sasquatch. It's just such an odd, like... Damn in the woods. Uh... Glenn's about to go one lap down. Whoa! Zach Miller. This is my I hate this job face. Hello, sir. Welcome to Bell Tire. My name is Kevin. I'm your guy. My name is Kevin. I'm here to over torque your lugs and fuck your shit up. Right. You know what they say just keep torquing it until the rim bends. You know, once the brake rotor and wheel, like, bend to where they match only going a certain way, you know you have them on tight enough. And we're going to the lead for, like, two seconds. Oh, here's some peak Arca. This is... I'm not sure what's worse. The two different fonts of Zero, the contingency decals are literally falling off, or the cracked paint or wrap, I would assume it was paint. Well, half of that statement's true. Then this <laughs> bastardized old Allgaier car. I wonder if they can't even be bothered to, like, create a little space between the H and the taillight. Hi, Carmen is no longer my avatar. My old ass dog who died. 
<laughs> oh, nine, Ooh, that's nine depressing. Years ago. Oh, nine, <laughs> nine years ago. I thought you were going to be like yesterday. He'd be really <laughs> old now. Well, yeah, he died when he was 15, so yeah. Yeah, that's some peak Arca shit in those photos. How do you even show up at the racetrack and not be embarrassed? Uh, I'll be right back from the weird issue with iTunes. It's probably gonna require me to restart to be able to sync my podcast, so I'll be right back. Have fun. Who's frequently? Maybe he should delete iTunes and quit being a fucking bitch. Maybe he should just like torn all his music like I do. For real. Any of you guys know who Fortley is? No. Okay. Johnny Reed Fortley. To make sure it wasn't one of you guys, he commented on the uh, Goodyear video and said, "Loved it." Oh, I think <laughs> it's just like a bot account. I've seen oh. a few of them that have been showing up recently. Okay. They're on all of my Red Sox videos. Oh. Yeah, some random dude. Cool. God, the Arca, that's so bad. Like, Arca's in the Arca, yo. Yo. We need another caution. Yo, 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 dog. Adam, Foley, Butter, Tim. Where's yo dog running, Tony? Is he outside the top 30? He's in the second pack. Um. Oh, wow, he's looking to get back in the top 20. He's having a career day. Yeah. Dale's doing a good job after getting his lap back. Well, I found it. The worst picture I have of myself anywhere. <laughs> Which one? Oh, this one's pretty bad. Jesus Christ. I, uh, I, I'm gonna put that on my next Wiggles truck. No comment. <laughs> Ah yes, this is the race where the infamous Zoo uh, pals were there, or whatever the fuck they were. The superstars. Yeah, unfortunately that was the most entertaining part of that race. Oh, I, I remember making this stuff. I always had fun making these. Little promos. Ah, yes. Ooh. Oh. Time to go to part two. I switched the ah, day. I can.